All right, g'day guys. Tonight I'm going to be having a look at Realmworks again, uh, this time looking at the perspective of the player, uh, not the Dungeon Master, someone who's actually using maybe a laptop at the table um, and sitting there using this as a tool to better their gaming experience. Uh, so specifically we're going to be looking at using Realmworks as a digital spellbook or a digital copy of the player handbook um, and looking at some of the benefits that that gives you. So let's jump over and have a look. Alright, so in front of me you can see Realmworks. Uh, I've got my uh, Realm that my Dungeon Master's given me access to, so that is a prerequisite for any of this to obviously work. Um, and just a, a disclaimer that any of the uh, the content here that I'm going to be working with has actually been entered by my Dungeon Master, not by myself. Um, so it's something your Dungeon Master would have to do in order for you to, uh, to play around with this sort of functionality, but uh, I'll go through and show you uh, what it could look like if you were doing it. Alright, so here's Realmworks, and you can see I've got my World Almanac with all my, my information of my actual adventure, so, you know, where I've been, who I've spoken to, what I've seen. But tonight what I'm going to be looking at is the Mechanics Reference. Alright, the Mechanics Reference, for anyone who hasn't played around with it, uh, has a number of categories, uh, and as you can see here, you can break those out into to different elements of your game. So, um, you know, character options, equipment options, spell options. And obviously jump, moving up and down through this list uh, can be quite tedious, I guess. Uh, especially when you consider, like, if, if I go and enable all of my options for my player handbook, uh, it can be quite sort of tedious to work around. So as a player, I want to make this as efficient as I possibly can. So the way I'm going to do that tonight is up by creating an actual individual uh, article view. All right, so if we come up here, you can see there's two buttons, topic view and article view. Alright, Topics is the bottom and Articles is this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the uh, the article view. We're going to go Manage Article Views. I'm going to go Create View and I'm going to call it Spellbook. So I want a book that can basically contain all of my spells. I want to show this in the ribbon bar. I'm going to click Done. Alright, see, now I've got a spellbook. It's empty, but it's there. Alright, what I want to do is now come down to my spells. Now again, this is obviously dependent on your Dungeon Master. In my case, I am the Dungeon Master, I've entered all my own data, so this is absolutely fine for me. Uh, and what I've done is I've created a, uh, a parent topic for my Player Handbook spells. Then under that you can see I've gone through and put all of the uh, all of the subcategories by alphabet, just to sort of separate them out a bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click at the top level, I'm going to go assign to views and assign to spellbook. Alright, so now if I come over to my spellbook, as you can see, I now have all the spells. Alright, let's go back and make sure we assign all the spells, because I've also got the Princes of the Apocalypse ones here as well. So here they go. Alright, there we go. So we now have some, some spells. Um, if you don't like the way it's sorted, I guess you could talk to your Dungeon Master, but generally the um, the way this is all laid out is really set by the Dungeon Master, um, who's controlling everything from their end. You're just making use of it. All right, and obviously the benefits of making use of it uh, become quite clear here. Um, you've got your spell. Um, you can, you know, press A, go to Arcane Eye. Um, you can click here and you click the links to find out more about um, what it is that it's linking to. All right, so... Alarm, let's have a look at that. There's actually nothing there. Alter self, it's a second level transmutation. What's a transmutation? There we go. All right, uh, it's got unit healing abilities. How do we click about that? All right, we want to learn about hit points. There we go. And as you can see, it's very fluent to move around in this application. Um, the links are all automatic. The Dungeon Master isn't creating these himself. He's basically just pressing save and it's just going through and scanning and putting this in. And the benefit there is obviously to yourself, the player, and to him, the, the DM. If he's entered something, you're going to get a link to it, which is really cool. Um, you can see here I've created these a long time ago, these spells specifically. So some of the links aren't actually working. So concentration would work now, one action would work, um, divination would work. I just need to go through and resave these because it's not something that I actually have uh, touched since, I don't know, about two years ago, I think. Um, just another thing, one, one thing you can change in your settings, and if we go to Manage, go to Preferences, go to Navigation View, alright, you can see we've got simple grouping, um, different type of groupings, 
So you want to sort of uh, see if you can close that out, but uh, I don't think we're actually going to be able to. Let's have a look. What does this look like? There we go. So there are different views that you can have in here. So you can actually have it so it was breaking out by role and class and all that sort of stuff. If I jump over to the greater mechanics reference, you'll probably understand that more. All right, you can see it really breaks breaks things down further, if that makes it easier. But um, let's just go through the process again, because there's another book I need to create. Um, I want to create basically a player handbook. So this will have all the rules in it. All right, then we're going to go down here and we're going to find... I'm just going to switch this back, actually. All right, got my player handbook. It's empty. Now I need to come down here and grab my player handbook. There we go. I'm going to assign this to a view, player handbook. All the contained articles will now be assigned as well. All right, if we come in here, there we go, we've got my player handbook. So I've got my appendix of my conditions. All right, I, I haven't put in part one, creating a character yet. That's a work in progress, but uh, playing the game, chapter seven, this is all in. Uh, you can see I've got advantage and disadvantage there. And again, you know, you've got all the links, so you can click this around and follow it to different things. Um, and the whole adventuring chapter is now in there. So if you want to learn how to move. Alright, how difficult terrain affects you. Alright, so as you can imagine, as a, as a player, this gets quite handy. Alright, then on top of that, there's also always the search feature. So, so I had a question at the table about difficult terrain. I can just put that into the search, and there we go, I've got difficult terrain. From there, I might have a question about speed. I can click it. I might have a question about movement. I can click it. It's very easy to move around. All right. Um, you can see in some areas, I've actually got um, specifically important articles uh, contained within different articles. Uh, in those cases there, let's say if I clicked over to here and put in speed, it'll show me all the articles that I've got speed listed. All right. In this case here, there's the one I'm looking for, though. All right, so as you can imagine, this could be quite handy. Um, there is a restriction on how many of these books you can have set up. Um, I think it's actually three at any one time. There you go, max three. Um, but, you know, you set it up with your, your core books, and you're going to be absolutely fine. Um, you can even make just a, a rules tab um, with all the, the Dungeon Master and the Player Handbook rules. Uh, and you can add and remove content to this thing quite easily but you know these views can be utilized by you as a player so that you can obviously make that uh, a little bit clearer for yourself um, and don't forget you can also go over to the user notes um, and you could do something like uh, let's let's go my spell list and you can actually come in here and go I've got alarm I've got fireball firebolt then you can save that all right, and you can actually come in and click those and go straight through. All right, you got the back buttons. All right, so that's something you can do. Um, or you might want to make it so that your spell book has just got the spells that you know. Um, you could do that as well. All right, you can go over to the mechanics reference uh, with nothing assigned to your spell book. You can come down here and go, all right, I know Arms of Hadar. I'm going to assign that to view spellbook and just assign the spells that you know so that literally the spellbook becomes just the spells that you're interested in. So uh, that is certainly a possibility. Just to show you what that would look like. Let's just say I know alarm. Animal shapes. And dancing lights. Now when I click on my spellbook Oh, I didn't remove them. I should remove them as well. Did I do that? Oh, sorry, I did it to the wrong book. Alright, and there we go. 
So using that, you could literally, you know, memorize spells, you could call it, depending on what type of class you are, uh, spell book, and it makes it quite easy for you to sort of just skip through your actual spells that you know and you use. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's just another uh, sort of look at Realmworks and uh, the possibility of how you could use it as the table. Um, you know, whether or not that's, that's useful to you, some players might look at this and go, you know what, that's that's too much of an application for me to bother with at the table. Others of you might be looking at it and going, you know what, you know, that'd be incredible. Um, keeping in mind that obviously it's not just spells, it's not just rules, you can actually go in and search all the data your Dungeon Master has entered. So NPCs you've spoken to, what they look like, where they live, where you've been, where you've travelled, monsters you've encountered. Uh, it's a really cool tool, but uh, anyway, check it out. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Apart from that, have a great night.